Today we're going to demonstrate the uh, calibration procedure for the MW-102. This has automatic calibration procedure. It also has a hold feature that will freeze the display so you can pull the probe out of the liquid you're testing and still hold the display in, in a frozen mode so you can take it and show it to someone else or, or uh, read it in a more convenient location. When you get your instrument, you've got a battery. We've already put the battery in the unit. You get a 4 and a 7 calibration packet like this. For the sake of doing this demonstration, we're going to use the bottles because it's a little bit easier to handle. You also have a temperature probe, which you need to have always hooked up anytime that you're using your unit. And you also have a BNC connector pH probe, which turns, locks, and twists. So, to get started, we're going to insert the pH probe and the temperature probe together into the calibration standard that we have. And turn the unit on. And go into the calibration mode by hitting the cow button. You're going to see the uh, flashing. In your instructions it says look for the pH tag to stop blinking. They are referring to the pH in the upper right hand corner letters. pH, that, as you'll notice in just a minute, then there you go. The numbers will continue to blink. The pH stopped blinking. At this point you hit the CFM button. You can do a rinse. And then over into the 4 calibration solution. And now you see the pH is blinking again with the 4 blinking. Our glass is showing in the left side, meaning it's functioning. And when it gets to, when it stops blinking, you hit the CFM. And four usually takes longer than the seven does to hit the uh, hit the mark because the probe needs to come down to the four position. There's your CFM, and as you see, it comes in. Now here's your hold feature. You press your hold button. You notice that the hold is displayed on your screen when you pull the probe out no change on your display. When you go back in, we're going to put it back into tap this tap water. When you release the hole, you just press the hole button again and it's coming back in to uh, read that tap water. And uh, that tap water is actually from our cooler so it's, uh, it's pretty cold. It's a reason for the uh, low pH. Uh, always allow time for the uh, values to settle in. It generally takes on uh, a unit like this about uh, 10 to 15 seconds to get stable. With that, that concludes the demonstration of the MW-102.